you know, that probably leads us into a good conversation around um, from an employee perspective, what are we seeing, uh, both from a plan design perspective and some of the costs that they're confronted with during open enrollment each year. Now, one item that surprised us in 2017 was that we actually saw a relatively significant increase in high deductible health plan premiums in 2017. And Logan, they increased on average about 8%. What's significant about this increase from the employee perspective? Well, I mean, if you're talking about someone who's enrolled in an HDHP, you know, they're already experiencing these significantly higher costs when they use healthcare throughout the plan year. And then all of a sudden they go to open enrollment and the amount that's gonna come out of their paycheck uh, has risen as well. So they're kind of getting hit with a, with a double whammy there. And Jeff, from, uh, I guess from an employer perspective, this looks like there was some cost shifting on the high deductible health plan side. Um, do you think this has an impact on high deductible health plan participation? Oh, without a doubt. I think to Logan's point, if, if you are both taking the risk and responsibility of an HDHP and then you log in an open enrollment and see that your HDHP um, premium has actually gone up uh, a lot, then I can definitely see one, more gravitation to PPO and two, uh, a lesser percentage of people willing to take that risk. And I think as people sort of are getting used to consumerism, um, I think, as Jessica just pointed out, you know, there's this idea of a one wallet, you know, this, this it's the same money that you have to pay for your rent and your, your food, and now it's your premium. So it's all of this together that are, they're trying to navigate and understand. And as, you know, as you just said, you know, if, if that, that difference is a lot smaller, it makes it a little more difficult to balance that. 